A Milwaukee family says they can finally rest. On Friday, the city refused to take them into protective custody for a second time. And tonight they tell Fox 6 investigator Brian Paulson the convicted felon they fear is back in jail. My mom is able to sleep now. A few days ago, man, we got to get up out of here, man. We can't be here. Donnell Boos was ready to take his mother and run. All because I called myself doing the right thing. Sandra Boos lives near 23rd and Cherry, home of the Cherry Street mob. During a vigil for homicide victim Ted Robertson in January, the 64-year-old saw a man waving around a gun. So I called the police on him. And when they call the police, they expect things to happen. They want you to protect them. Instead, someone filled her house with bullets. Across the street, police found shell casings and a cell phone with an email linked to a wanted felon, Marvin K. Smith Jr. The report lists Smith as a person involved, but does not identify him as a suspect. On Friday, police arrested Smith on a probation violation, and they now say they have a person of interest in the shooting, but they won't say if Smith is that person. Donnell Boo says his mother Sandra feels safe at home again, at least for now. I want to thank members of the community who spoke up and made that happen. In downtown Milwaukee, Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators. Now, earlier this month, a judge issued a four-year restraining order against Martin K. Smith Jr., based in part by the Bose family allegations that he shot up their home. Smith is scheduled for sentencing on an unrelated felony gun charge next month.